What's going on? It's Eric Nathy with AboveTheBuzz.com and today's Thursday, August 25th, so we're going to go ahead and get you all caught up on what new movies are coming out this weekend, as well as give you a couple suggestions for what to watch if you plan on staying in. Now, number one coming out tomorrow, August 26th, is Our Idiot Brother. Number two is Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. And number three is Columbiana. And number four is Circumstance. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of choices for you this weekend. But if you can't find a movie that fits your needs, I would suggest you stay in and watch these two movies. Number one being Your Highness. Now, this movie was released in 2010. It stars Danny McBride, James Franco, Natalie Portman, and Zoe Deschanel. And it's the story of the youngest prince, Thaddeus, as he must go on his first quest with his older brother, Fabius, in order to prove that he's worthy of being a prince. Now, what makes this film work so well is the fact that the humor is so off the wall and silly, but you still actually care about the story that's going on. Many times when you have a silly film like this, you're not, you don't care about the story. It's just about what silly antics coming next to make you laugh. But in this story, there's silly antics that come next and make you laugh, but you actually care about what's happening as you go along. I think a lot of that has to do with the characters and the actors who play those characters. But for me, uh, most of it has to do with Danny McBride. He really stepped it up a notch and showed me more than what I thought he was capable of. And thumbs up to you, Mr. McBride. And I would suggest that you watch Your Highness this weekend and see what you think. Now, number two, I would suggest Zombieland. And this movie came out in 2010. It stars Jesse Eisenberg, Woody Harrelson, Emma Stone, and Abigail Breslin. And it's the story of Columbus as he journeys through the post-apocalyptic world after zombies have taken over, and he meets different characters along the way. Now, as you all know, this was one of my top 10 picks of 2010. It's an excellent movie. And one of the reasons that it's so great is because of the director's choices to think outside the box. Now, what they did is they added elements such as zombie kill of the week and the rules, which had nothing to do with the story. And they, you know, you would think a text or something in the middle of the screen while you're watching a movie would take you out. But it actually makes it more entertaining and feeds the story for you. And another thing that's great about it is the character connections and the comedic time and timing of all the actors in this film. Absolutely perfect. I would suggest that you watch Zombieland this weekend. Now, hopefully these suggestions have filled your movie-going appetite for the weekend. And if you want to watch the trailers to the movie suggested or get up-to-date review information, go ahead and visit AboveTheBuzz.com. And remember to tune in every Thursday to get the release information for the movies that weekend, as well as get some suggestions for what to watch if you're staying in. Now, this is Eric Nathy with AboveTheBuzz.com, and thank you much for tuning in.